Are you paying attention? Are you paying attention now? Are you watching? I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. And today we're going to be talking about vitamin C. So what is vitamin C? Vitamin C, think of it like an A-list celebrity with a diva attitude. They can be tricky to work with and really unstable. So what does vitamin C do for the skin? We all know that vitamin C is really good for brightening the skin tone, but what else does it do? It does many things. It is jam-packed with antioxidants, which you want. And antioxidants are great for protecting your skin from like free radicals and UV ray damage. So you want that in your skincare. It also stimulates collagen and elastin production for the skin and that will help improve your skin elasticity it also helps improve your skin texture it plumps up the skin making you look young forever and it helps fade hyperpigmentation that's kind of actually what i use it for <laughs> it can really help with lightening those marks giving you a nice overall even complexion. Vitamin C is like the mom. It is the mother bear. And so the derivatives are like the little cubs, the little, little baby bears. Very similar to vitamin C, but they differ in some ways. The pure form, the mama bear of vitamin C is L-ascorbic acid or ascorbic acid. Picky expert Claudia calls it our golden standard because it's the strongest form of vitamin C that you can get. Definitely backed by a lot of research. However, it can also be the most unstable form of vitamin C. The ingredient is really sensitive to changes in the environment. So for example, it oxidizes and changes color really easily. Different temperatures to the oxygen in the air or also to light. An example of product that has the pure form of vitamin C is the Iope, the vitamin C23. Of course, it has L-ascorbic acid, as we mentioned. It also has other ingredients like panthenol to help with the soothing of your skin, as well as squalene to help moisturize, and it's also a really good anti-aging ingredient. And now we move to the derivatives, the, the baby, baby bears. bears. The baby bears. They're like the mama bear, but they're more stable. The mama bear is not very stable. So they're more stable form of that kind of ingredient. But do uh, they have the same effect as vitamin C? You'll maybe get a similar effect, but it won't be as strong as a result as maybe you get with a pure form. But since they're not as concentrated, they're also not as irritating for some skin types. An example of a derivative of vitamin C would be the tetrahexyl decal ascorbate also known as THDA. THDA consists fatty acid components, which also makes it a trusted oil-soluble ingredient. It's also oxygen stable, which means that if it's exposed to air, it doesn't oxidize, so you don't have to worry about that. It also penetrates better and deeper into the skin. I would say that it works for all skin types, especially people with dry skin. You might wanna try looking for products with this derivative. Did you hear that, Carol? One product that has this derivative is Youth to the People 15% Vitamin C Clean Caffeine Energy Serum. And it actually has three forms of vitamin C. So it has many elements. And it has caffeine from yerba mate and tea leaves. So it has antioxidants and can help reduce puffiness. So it has a lot of benefits. Oh, I need that. And on to the next one, there's also Sodium Ascorbyl Phosphate, also known as Set. So unlike the last one, I'm not gonna say the name, it is water soluble. Also stable when it's exposed to light and oxygen, so it's not as sensitive. So it also increases hydration and it's really good for sensitive skin types. The product with this ingredient would be the Neogen Real Vita C Serum. Aside from SAP, it also has collagen, which we all know we need for that pump youthful skin, as well as hyaluronic acid to help with the hydration level of our skin. I need a lot more of it. And another form of vitamin C derivative would be the 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid, also known as the 3-O-E-A-A. Sounds like Star Wars. So it's high tech, it must be really effective. So this derivative also promotes the production of collagen in our skin. You get the best of both worlds with this product because it's water and oil soluble. And a product that actually includes this is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. It is as effective as it sounds and delicious. There's also plenty more other derivatives you can find. These are just like the main ones that we happen to look more into. The most important step is always to patch test. Good to be sure before you actually put it straight on your face just to see if your skin has any reactions to it. Definitely always start off with a lower percentage or concentration and work your way up. You should always start really slow and build up that tolerance. It's called pacing yourself. 
moderation. It probably is best to not dive right into like the pure vitamin C form. Maybe a derivative might be the best place to start, especially if you have sensitive skin. It might be good to start with like a more stable and less irritating derivative. Also, another tip is to mix it in with your other products, trying a powdered form. So some examples of powdered form vitamin C would be the ordinary 100% L-ascorbic acid powder, which is basically L-ascorbic powder. Another one would be Neogen's Rio Vita C powder lemon. However, do keep in mind that with these powders, you want to follow instructions on how much you should be adding in. You never want to put too much. And definitely pay attention to your skin for reactions. Redness, itchiness, irritation, and that tingling, burning sensation. If you ever experience any of these, try to rinse it off with water. And definitely consult a dermatologist if you feel like the problem isn't being fixed or going away. I mean, just always consult them if you have any concern. They are professionals for a reason. And there's also a lot of ways that brands are trying to help prevent and reduce the oxidation of the product. Beauty brands are trying to kind of keep the vitamin C products stable and not oxidized. It has more of like an airtight type of packing. When you get vitamin C, it's in a very opaque kind of bottle because it's trying to like stop light from maybe getting in there. Lots of thought into the product. Put it in the fridge. It's good than having it in like yeah. humid areas. Don't want that humidity. Mm -mm. So as you just mentioned with formulas, it's very important to have really complementary ingredients and for vitamin C, it has some really good buddy ingredients that really brings out the best in it. Ferulic acid, this helps speed up the effect of vitamin C, brings out its good side. Also, vitamin E is another commonly paired ingredient with vitamin C because they work really well together. Off the top of my head, I can already think of a couple that always have vitamin C and ferulic acid. Neogen's vitamin C serum has that. So I'm using that one now. It's really nice. And I know SkinCeuticals also has that really yes. popular one. Good combination. That When should you use it? Unlike retinol, it doesn't really have a certain time period you have to use it or when you can't use it. So you can use it both day and night, but as always, if you use it, you have to wear sunscreen with it. So during the day, vitamin C is like a shield, enhances sunscreen. And at night, it just helps undo all that damage you got through the day. You become more beautiful as you're sleeping. In conclusion, what can we say about vitamin C? I would say like vitamin C is probably one of the most popular and the best all-rounded ingredient for like skin brightening. I would say the people that maybe don't want to go into retinol yet because they might be a little bit nervous about it, yes. they definitely go towards vitamin C. And for sure, if you have hyperpigmentation, or I know a lot of people, yeah, they just go right to vitamin C as the key ingredient. And there's so many different derivatives of vitamin C, there's definitely bound to be one that works well with your skin. So you just have to look around. Picky is definitely a great platform where you can narrow down your choices and selections just you know, so you can pick one out easier. And you can look at the reviews. As always with a lot of products, you have to be consistent, you have to be patient. You're gonna wake up the next day and everything's gonna be fixed. So definitely be patient, be consistent. And don't go strong, like too strong at first to see a faster result because I've done that and not a good idea. It makes everything worse. <laughs> a higher percentage does not mean that it will give a faster result or a better result. Don't forget to check out our blog, our Instagram, like, share, subscribe, and comment down below the secret code if you caught it somewhere in the middle of the video. And if you're using any vitamin C products, like let us know what you're using. We would love to see what kind of products you're using, what you're thinking about it. Thank you for watching, bye.